When scientists initially discovered primordial galaxies at the universe's edge, they deemed it seemingly impossible. The initial plausible explanation proposed was whether closer galaxies could be deceivingly posing as distant ones. Consequently, thorough studies were conducted, data was shared with scientists worldwide, and the outcome defied expectations. Indeed, the galaxies are undeniably real, with no anomalies whatsoever. This remarkable discovery owes its credit to NASA's exceptional telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope, which not only provides a unique perspective of the universe but has also glimpsed the oldest galaxies ever observed. Astronomers now assert with confidence that the light emanating from these galaxies has traversed a journey of over 13.4 billion years to reach Earth. The findings indicate that these galaxies were present in the universe when it was a mere 350 million years old, showcasing the swift emergence of the initial generations of galaxies. Witnessing the spectrum unfold as anticipated has confirmed the authenticity of these galaxies existing at the genuine edge of our observational range. Surpassing the capabilities of what Hubble could perceive. It is a tremendously exciting achievement for the mission. But why was it so crucial to prove that these galaxies do indeed inhabit the early universe? First of all, the discovery confirms Webb's ability to perform one of its most important tasks. Studying the early universe via light that has been traveling for so long that the expansion of the universe has stretched its wavelength. This stretching of light is called redshift. The longer the light travels, the further toward the red end of the electromagnetic spectrum it shifts. This means that redshift can be used as a measure of distance. And that early galaxies should have light displaying extreme redshifts. With their light stretched all the way into the infrared range. Which is the web's specialty. What this finding has done is that it has shaken the foundation of our cosmology. Secondly, the existence of these galaxies prompts us to develop instruments more potent than Webb to reassess the timing of the Big Bang. Analysis of data from Webb's instruments reveals that four out of six galaxies exhibit extreme redshifts. This conclusion stems from the absence of heavy element signatures, such as carbon, in their spectra. Consequently, Webb is capturing these galaxies as they appeared when the universe was only 300 to 500 million years old. Here's the thing, the universe is currently about 13.8 billion years old, according to our cosmology. The epoch of Ryanization began about 400 to 500 million years after the Big Bang, which was when gas and dust started to clump together to form stars and galaxies. This process is said to have taken a few million years before the universe came to be as we see it today, and as a result. There shouldn't be such well-formed galaxies only 500 million years after the Big Bang, as seen by Webb. So what exactly is happening? Panic has already begun as scientists are now trying to fit these galaxies into the existing model of cosmological inflation. But the Big Bang, as ambitious a theory as it is, as a few loopholes. Firstly, the Big Bang violates the first law of thermodynamics, which states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, it can only be converted from one form to another. We have no idea what caused the Big Bang. Secondly, we have no idea how our universe suddenly emerged from the Dark Ages during the epoch of Ryanization. And now we are finding galaxies that, in cosmic terms, are almost as old as the Big Bang itself. The new findings build on previous research where scientists reported that despite coming from the very beginnings of the universe, the galaxies were as mature as our own Milky Way. And a new paper has appeared to confirm those findings by stress testing the galaxies to better understand how they formed. It suggests that if scientists have not made a mistake, we may be missing some fundamental information about the universe. Scientists find themselves in a pit because there are also several lines of evidence that support the Big Bang theory. Like the cosmic microwave background radiation, 
which is thought to be the leftover radiation from the Big Bang. The pattern of this radiation matches what is predicted by the Big Bang theory. Then there is also the fact that the universe is expanding, and observations have shown that distant galaxies are indeed moving away from us. And the farther away they are, the faster they are moving. The abundance of light elements like hydrogen, helium, and lithium in the universe also matches the predictions of the Big Bang theory. Taken together, these lines of evidence strongly support the idea that the universe started with a Big Bang. However, Webb's data has changed the epoch of all of that. As of making this video, NASA tweeted about finding a galaxy cluster of seven galaxies with a redshift of 7.9, or a mere 650 million years after the Big Bang. This discovery challenges our understanding of cosmic evolution, suggesting highly evolved galaxy clusters emerged relatively early in cosmic history. Webb's advanced instruments allowed astronomers to measure the velocities of these galaxies, confirming their binding within a protocluster. This finding underscores the importance of continued exploration and observation to refine our understanding of the early universe. It highlights the dynamic nature of cosmic evolution, and the need for updated models to accommodate new discoveries. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of the cosmos, each revelation opens new avenues of inquiry, guiding us towards a more comprehensive understanding of our cosmic origins and destiny. We can see these distant galaxies like small drops of water in different rivers, and we can see that eventually, they will all become part of one big, mighty river, remarked a NASA scientist. This analogy encapsulates the profound implications of recent discoveries regarding primordial galaxies and their implications for our understanding of the Big Bang. Indeed, our previous conceptions of cosmic origins may require significant revision in light of these findings. The revelations brought forth by the James Webb Space Telescope challenge the very foundation of our cosmological understanding. As we peer deeper into the cosmos, the observed galaxies defy conventional expectations, raising questions about the timeline and mechanisms of the universe's early evolution. The data collected by Webb presents a puzzle, one that demands careful scrutiny and analysis. The implications of these discoveries extend far beyond the realm of astrophysics. They prompt us to reconsider fundamental principles, such as the nature of the Big Bang itself. Perhaps the event that birthed our universe was not a singular occurrence but part of a larger cosmic narrative yet to be fully understood. Just as Newton's laws of gravity gave way to Einstein's theories of relativity, so too may our current understanding of cosmology evolve in response to new evidence. The pursuit of knowledge is a journey filled with twists and turns, challenges and triumphs. While the mysteries of the cosmos may seem daunting, they also inspire wonder and curiosity. As we await further insights from Webb and future missions, we stand on the threshold of discovery, poised to unravel the secrets of the universe and expand our understanding of the cosmos. Thank you for watching another episode of Space Odyssey while you are still here don't forget to like and subscribe.